Hi everyone, I think you're all doing well. I'm really proud, I've got my new t-shirt. <laughs> uh, truth be told, yeah, the last few weeks I've been um, spending a lot of time on the internet um, learning how to do things and uh, yeah, I've started a print-on-demand t-shirt company and I, I just got a test print through today and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's my kind of thing. I like going to parties and, you know, into the sort of techno thing, and so, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, apart from that, though, yeah, i kind of been in um, <coughs> a state of um, procrastination, actually, for the last week or two. There's all the highs and lows of life, and, um, yeah, beginning of this week, things... I'm not going to, you know, say, say, say don't want to depress anyone, but... I don't know if any, anyone's ever been in that state where, you know, you just spend the day looking out the window or just, just scrolling through Facebook and you can't break the, um, can't break the curse, you know, and you know that you should be doing something and you know that you should be being creative and you know that you should be, um, doing something that, that that's going to, um, further your life, but can't, you know, and for some reason there's a blockage and yeah, I, I kind of entered that stage this week a little bit but it's beginning to pass and uh, it's okay um a good look on a good long conversation with my father last night kind of um helped you know uh it's all about communication you know i'm don't know about you guys but i live all on my own in, in quite a remote place so i don't have much human contact and you know the internet's yeah, for some weeks is is my um, human contact. You know, this is why I kind of uh, make these videos in, in in some respects at the moment. Um, but anyway, <coughs> you know, don't <coughs> excuse me. I don't want to put anybody on a downer. But yeah, my um, good friend in England, um, I introduced him to pipe smoking recently, and uh, yeah, he sent me um, a package, which is really nice to receive and. Um, one of them was just a really nice old uh, GBD state pipe, and I don't know if you guys have any idea how how huge the bowl is. You know, th this is a oh, it's a clipper lighter with the you know this thing is enormous. I mean, if you check out the diameters, you know, this bowl is absolutely ginormous. You know, it, it just swallows a clipper lighter absolutely swallows it and it's, it's a really nice pipe you know it's, it's great at the moment i'm smoking um again you know it was um, in the package from from a friend in england and it is uh what is it robert lewis orsula mixture mixture i don't know why that's coming out mirrored image it must be something to do with android um androids uh, and camera configuration. But yeah, I mean, it's nothing that special to look at, the cut. I think um, from where I was reading on the internet, they changed the cut. I think it used to be a bit finer than this, but yeah, it's a kind of ribbon cut. It's quite moist few different colours in there but yeah you know and the smell yeah it's nice you know there's um, there's obviously Latakia and Perique in there um, it's described as an oriental mixture an oriental forward mixture um, I'm not so familiar with orientals so <clears throat> to be honest I can't really discern um, the smell but you know I can smell the Perique, I can smell the Latakia and, and I can smell the Virginias but yeah it, it's really nice actually there's nothing artificial there at all there's no um, there's no topping it's, it's, it's just really really nice genuine um, tobacco smell and yeah I mean it's it's a really nice um, mellow smoke it's very smooth um, nothing ultra complicated it's definitely um it's not the same but i would say it's on par with um something like um peterson's early morning pipe 
And it's, 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 you know, I'm not comparing the two, but only in in the sense that it's definitely something that that could be your first pipe of the day, and you, you can smoke it all day long. It, it, it's really pleasant, you know, and it has got a, a strong smell of Latakia and Perique when you open the tin, but. In the smoke, it's a lot more um, subdued. It's, it's very balanced, actually. The, the, the sweetness of the Virginias are kind of present, and, and the Latakia and Perique in the background. Um, the Oriental side of it, I'm quite new to the Oriental thing, um, but yeah, I think I would describe it as a, you get the sourness. In some ways, but a pleasant sourness, not you know, not um, not like the you know, you know um, <laughs> or bitterness, sourness. But yeah, there, there's the, the, there's something there from the Orientals that that, that is quite evident. I mean, if this was just a straight Virginia um, Perique Latakia mixture, it'd be very different to this. You know, I, I can really see how the Orientals um, um, play a part in it, and. I mean, again, this is such a huge bowl. It takes me like um, probably nearly two hours to get through this, and this is why I'm struggling to uh, describe it to you. You know. Probably not even halfway down, and it's like yeah, the further down you go, I, th I think the more presence the Orientals have. Um, and I, I, I'm really not familiar with uh, with Robert Lewis. It's, it's not something I've ever um, um, bought in the past because it's a bit limited here in France. But yeah, it was a really nice present. So um, yeah, thank you to Gray from um, yeah, he's part of England. And uh, yeah, like I said, I introduced him to pipe smoking, and uh, now we've uh, you know starting to send each other um, different different um, samples and things. So yeah, really nice present, really nice pipe. I mean, this thing's enormous. Yeah, the bowl is enormous. You know, I thought I had a big bold pipe, but this is this. You know, this thing is absolutely huge. So I think yeah, I'm going to dedicate it to my uh, Latakia forward kind of um, you know big bold English blends. Primarily because that's something that I can smoke for two hours. I I I wouldn't want to smoke like. Um, you know, a cherry aromatic for two hours. You know, I kind of quite like some aromatics, but um, you know, not not for two hours. You know, sort of uh, twenty thirty minutes is okay. So yeah, again, thank you so much for that really nice present. Yeah, and <clears throat> yeah, the world's still going crazy now in France. I have to wear a medical medical face mask if I go into a shop. At great expense, you know. And uh, pff, all this talk of moving into a cashless society, which at face value is, yeah, it doesn't affect me directly because I, I use um, contactless payment most of the time, but it affects me indirectly because, you know, if I want to sell um, some tyres to one of my neighbours or, 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 or a piece of musical equipment and How's that going to work? You know what? We have to do a bank transfer or, or use PayPal and, and pay a percentage. And I kind of think certain people are taking advantage of our civil liberties at the moment. Um, the last thing that we need in society at the moment is another middleman. You know, if I if I sell something second hand, I do not need a middleman to take three or four percent to facilitate the payment. I, I, you know, I'm happy to use cash for this, and it seems that every step of the way at the moment in our journey as a society, there's more and more and more middlemen are being introduced. Um, I have a cat meowing in the background. Yeah. For for example, with the health service, if I'm ill, I need a doctor. But it seems more and more and more, you know, especially if you um, bring in the American model, I need a doctor, there is a doctor, 
Well, we have a, a middle management team that will facilitate me and the doctor's um, rendezvous. And every step of the way in my life, there seems to be a middleman between what I want, who can provide what I want, and I don't think we really need this. You know, I think it makes life more complicated, and it makes life more expensive. Expensive because the middleman is needs the cut you know this is what they're there for they don't contribute anything they don't facilitate anything all they do is broker the provider to the person that has a need and and i don't know maybe i'm old-fashioned but i uh, these guys are leeches you know we do not need more of this in our culture and i fear all this covid thing we're going to get more of it, you know. It's going to be us, middleman to our provider, you know. <clears throat> it's like my ex-girlfriend is a tattooer. And I know the price of alcohol um, hand wash to the industry is about 30, 40 cents. If I want to go and buy it in my supermarket, it's two euros, 30, 40 cents. I mean, the price of face masks, if you get them from a medical supplier, they're like five cents, ten cents. I bought some the other day, they cost me nearly a euro each. And so it's the same, this is the concept I'm, I'm trying to describe that every step of the way there's another middleman taking his cut. Well, the only people that benefit is the middleman, the, the, the supplier doesn't benefit, and the um, end consumer doesn't benefit, you know. But anyway, I think I have to stop ranting. Because <laughs> I'm trying to enjoy the sunshine in the south of France and not get too bogged down in um, all of this political craziness that's going on at the moment. But um, that's what was going through my mind. But yeah, I've got some fighting cats here for some reason. A castrated male and an uncastrated male. I don't know what their beef is. But anyway, yeah, if you, if you like... Um, Oriental forward English mixtures, yeah, check out Robert Lewis um, Smoking One in backwards, or Scylla mixture, I'm reading off the back of the tin now. <laughs> anyway guys, take care, until next time, um, yeah, happy smoking and uh, hope, to, hope to see you all again soon, take care.